All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see how that clutch looks after that ride I showed you guys in the previous video. I gotta clean my bike so bad, it's so filthy. It seemed like the car, uh, the uh, the clutch was doing very well. I was getting my good speed, even though I was running rich. I could have gotten even more speed if I wanted to. All right, to so lean it out, get some more speed. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing looks like. You guys, that's that's the same amount of play. And it's still warm. Yeah, that uh that bushing isn't moving. That's fantastic. That's working great, you guys. So I'm gonna have to say that I definitely that's all the play I'm getting, guys. Yeah, I have a big old mess. Excuse my mess. I've been working this thing in my kitchen this whole time. Let's see here. But yeah, you guys, um, it still looks good. I mean, I don't know what it'll do after many, many miles, but even after that, there's no change. There's no change. It's exactly the same as it was whenever I left. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Excuse my language, y'all, but yeah, this is great. I'm very excited about this. Yeah, I can't wait for that exhaust. Gotta clean that all up. And this is not the carburetor that came with it either, by the way. I had to get another one for like 10 bucks. Cheap as crap. But yeah, it's running, right. it's running great right now. It's running rich right now, so I can lean it out a little bit and, and fucking get the power for it. Yeah, that's the, uh, down there you see the uh, the oil down there, it's AEW-90, excuse me. Now that's what I use for my, uh, for my chains. Works phenomenal, I mean, this stuff is great. This is also, also what I use uh, to put in here. When it's warm, I just let it sit there and get it nice and hot. Let it ooze in there and it works, I guess. I mean, shoot, man, I mean, it's not sticking, like I said, I mean, I can't believe. How solid it is. It's doing fantastic. Now, the chain, as what I put together over here, seems to be doing well as well. I put my half link that they sent with it for us. And of course, a piece of the other chain that it came with. <laughs> I don't know. I should have tried to put the, the GOAT link, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. Those the links uh, for the GOAT chain are basically, I don't have a, a motorcycle uh, chain breaker. So basically, this thing. <laughs> Yeah, this thing I, I could not try to do the 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 the, uh, the gold chain. I couldn't. It was just too hard. I can barely even open them up. It's so difficult. You have to grind them down and everything just to be able to pop them out. So no more uh, master link on this guy. That's how I, I just put it all together as one piece. And this is how loose I have to have my chain on here just for it to run right. It's really odd. I'm not sure what's up with the sprocket or what the crap is going on, but. Yeah, fighter. If, if I don't have it that tight, then it's gonna just be acting really weird. I don't know why. So I'm trying to get another sprocket here. If anybody's wondering, you know that the 36 tooth sprocket. So the ratio, I believe it's uh, I have 11. There's 11 teeth on the on the on the 11 teeth on the stupid clutch, and then of course there's 36 on the big guy. Then there's 10 on the little guy, and on mine it's 40. Yeah, that's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, my uh, my kickstand broke too. By the way, I forgot who it was, but uh, one of you guys said that your kickstand broke. Yeah, mine too. So I have it up with a zip tie right now until I get the tool that attaches right here. There's a tool. I don't know if they make it anymore, but or if you can make something. I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But what it does is uh, it pushes the 
the kick stand in and then you can go ahead and take that pin out and then you could pull it out and replace the cotter pin and everything else to go in there so it can work all over again because mine's not working so but yeah either way uh, this is the spring that I use for my throttle Let me make it real simple somebody was wondering about the uh, bypasses that's all it basically did let's go directly up there and of course ensure that it stays in place that's the uh, the governor pin that's the arm that used to connect to all that crap that would move whenever you press the gas at a certain level and of course I still have my governor because you see that pin right there is the governor's you know pulley right there so but yeah you guys uh, yeah it's <laughs> that trick was freaking phenomenal worked phenomenal so far on the on the clutches so if you guys want that to stop happening do what I didn't put those O-rings and if you want to hit me up just hit me up and I'll, and I'll show you guys up and just hit me up and I'll make sure I show you guys how I did that because uh, I didn't make the video for you guys and I apologize for that but I may just do that for you guys here soon I'll probably do it tomorrow um, so I can show you guys exactly how I did that clutch thing because I mean it's amazing it's not going crazy like it used to it's just a little bit of play basically what it should be like so yeah my, my fat moto. All right, you guys. Have a good night.